begin with CNS Admiral Charanjit Singh, former CNS Sunil Lamba, uh, uh, Vice Admiral uh, Mr. K.K. Uh, Saxena, Rear Admiral G.K. Harish, Vicky Chairman Sri Sudip uh, Somani, and uh, Vicky Defense Committee Chairman Sri J.D. Patel. The senior officers from, from Navy, representatives from industry, and ladies and gentlemen. It gives me immense pleasure to be present here on this, uh, on in this inaugural session of uh, today's seminar on uh, nation building through shipbuilding. The uh, the topic of the seminar is uh, very uh, is uh, is uh, very timely and. Uh, Actually, when we when we use the expression nation building, nation building, what comes to our mind is a strong uh, national economy with strong industrial base and a strong uh, a strong defence to protect our interest, whether political or economic. We also know it. Everybody knows that nowadays the developed economies are globally interconnected and uh, the through through trade and commerce they are globally interconnected and uh, global and, and the trade is essentially presently maritime in case of india for example the 77 percent of our our trade in terms of value is maritime and in terms of volume, volume it is more than 90 percent so this brings into sharp focus the the requirement to protect our uh, to, to protect our economic security also to protect our uh, security uh, these the logs the the sea lanes of commerce and uh, in this context it is very apt to say that uh, the the shipbuilding and nation building are two sides of the same coin uh, as has been brought out by by earlier speaker the uh, at least as for, at least in uh, in navy i'm not talking about the merchant the, the the merchant shipping but in navy uh, in 60 last 60 70 years we have developed considerable uh, considerable capability and we are now we are now designing our own frigates our own uh, destroyers even aircraft carriers we are designing and we are manufacturing them in our own in our own shipyards we are using our own steel in fabrication of this of the of the ships so in as far as the move category is concerned we are more than 90 percent we are self reliant in terms of uh, in terms of in term in move category the self reliance would be to the extent of uh, i am told it is a, it is between 50 to 60 percent and there is uh, still dependence on as far as the propulsion system is concerned the safety in propulsion systems there is still dependence on the foreign OEMs, uh, and uh, in electronics and uh, combat management systems, we are fairly self-reliant. Um, but uh, it is also true that this capability is present more in the more in the public sector. Although in after 2001, when the uh, when the defence sector was thrown open to private sector. Uh, the number of uh, shipyards have come, which, which, uh, which have a number of private shipyards have also come up with, with good facility. And what the significant change which has taken place in the last two, three years in terms of the policy is that we are increasingly moving away from, uh, from, uh, from uh, placing orders on a nomination basis to, uh, to um, public, uh, public sector shipyards alone. And, uh, this pace is going to increase, and uh, I think the, in near very in very near future, the competition would be the norms uh, rather than rather than exception. We keep interacting. In uh, I am uh, I am working as Joint Secretary in DDP as in the in the naval system, and very frequently we have we keep have interaction with the industry as to what is what is their expectation and what is their expectation from from the ministry in terms of policy and uh, after thorough uh, discussions with the industry uh, this year itself the ship uh, 
the shipyards assessment, new shipyard assessment rules were uh, have been have been framed, which uh, which I am sure will encourage uh, the the private ship industry in uh, participation in the tenders uh, for for uh, for navy. The uh, shipbuilding is not only about uh, about about shipyards, but uh, we should look for the entire eco development of the entire ecosystem, industrial systems, subsystems, equipments, parts, subparts, etc.